most of the time it was fine, but sometimes it, um, it, it would look a little bit blurry. Nine-year-old Isaac Kaufman is a lucky kid. His mom, Laura, didn't listen to their pediatrician when he gave them the thumbs up on Isaac's vision test. It looked like two words. I wasn't reading much when my eyes were like that. So it kind of looked like two words with the last few letters up in the air. Her motherly instincts kicked in when she noticed Isaac was squinting just to read the eye chart. So she took him for a comprehensive vision exam, which changed everything. We didn't know he was seeing double. His reading was slow. He would get headaches. And now he's reading three books at a time. Math work is whizzing through, and the soccer is coming together, and he's running. While the future looks promising for Isaac, other kids aren't so fortunate. Studies show that 86% of children start school without ever having their eye examination. And the American IQ survey of 2008 showed that 65% of parents had not taken their children in for an eye exam this year. Dr. Andrea Thaw says vision is the most important sense for learning. And she's amazed parents will skimp out on a vision test. Children that come in that have been labeled as learning problems or have not reading well or not functioning well actually have vision problems that once corrected enable that child to become the best they can be. And ADD for some kids could be more of a vision problem than behavioral. ADD is associated with an eye problem called convergence insufficiency, which is a problem coordinating the eyes, will manifest behaviors that look like ADD. Some things parents should be on the lookout for is trouble reading, complaints of fatigue while reading, tilting of the head to see or read, losing their place while reading, or sitting too close to the TV or computer. And vision problems not only impact learning in school, but they also have effects on social uh, and also physical and emotional development as well. Dr. Thaw also says she's seeing an increase of nearsightedness in children and recommends kids take breaks from video games, TVs, computer use, and handheld devices, a break of 20 seconds for every 20 minutes of use. I'm Rick Leventhal, Fox News.